My name is Michael. Welcome back to the Mods YouTube channel. Today we're going to enjoy an animal meet and greet. Hey, welcome back. We're here with Alina, our animal handler. Alina, you've got a much different animal than usual. What do we have here? Today I have Scarlet the Crested Gecko. So Scarlet is a type of lizard. Yes, he is. And lizards, um, they actually uh, share the same group as snakes. Yes, they are. And so Come this on. leopard, or excuse me, this, I'm sorry, this lizard is crested a gecko. crested gecko. Why do we call it a crested gecko? Or the eyelash gecko. And if you take a nice long look at her, you might notice that she has beautiful eyelashes over her eyes and down the ridges of her back. And so does she, what does she like to eat? She is an omnivore, so she does love to eat her fruits and her decaying fruits and vegetables, but she also eats insects as a big part of her diet. So something as, as a kid that I would do, I would try to catch them, and sometimes I would miss and I'd actually grab the tail, and the <laughs> tail would just fall off. Why is that? Certain species of lizard are actually able to completely disconnect the nerve and the bone of their tail and drop it, and that is a defense mechanism. Essentially what the tail will do is the muscles will spasm and it will distract the predator to eat the tail instead of the lizard. Now most lizards are actually able to gener uh, eventually regenerate their tail, but it won't be bone anymore, it will be cartilage inside of it. So when the tail would fall off and just wiggle all over the floor, they thought I would just eat the tail and then let the lizard. Okay. It's a lot easier to eat something that's sitting still than something that's running. Okay, I understand that. And so as far as they go, I, I always see lizards sitting in the sun. Mm -hmm. But on a like cold day, I don't ever see them. Why is that? Well, reptile lizards are reptiles, and reptiles are cold-blooded creatures. Cold-blooded. They do not regulate their body temperature the way we do. Instead, they rely on their outside environment to get their heat or so even cool down. If I'm cold, I might put on a sweater or a jacket. But they're not going to walk into the closet and put on a sweater or a jacket. I don't think they make sweaters small enough for her, but That's, she loves the sun. Unless you're the Geico Gecko. Oh yeah, Mr. Geico Gecko. That's but, her cousin. <laughs> but this guy will sit in the sun. Mm -hmm. Now what if they get too hot? Eventually they'll go for cover. Now she comes from a little island called New Caledonia. It's right off the east coast of Australia. And they primarily live up in trees. If you get a nice long look at her, she actually looks like a little leaf helps her blend into her environment, and she also jumps bridge to bridge. So she camouflages yes, she does. to look like something that she's not. Mm -hmm. Got it. Plenty of things in Australia would love to eat her. And so why, why do we have that here? Well, she is an animal ambassador for her species. She is a pretty popular animal in the pet trade, and a lot of people don't know about her. She's very fragile, so we really just want to expose people to different types of reptiles and why you shouldn't be afraid of them. For all you people who are afraid of lizards, you can't be afraid of this. She is quite cute. Mm -hmm. All right, well, thank you for bringing Scarlet with you today, and we'll see everybody next time. Have a good one. We want to thank the Bachelor Foundation for sponsoring this video today, and make sure you subscribe below.